But one day, they, the village got word that a nearby village was going to attack them and that troops were coming. And so quickly, the village started to, to swing into action. They started to prepare themselves, and they started to get scared because they, they got word that this other village was coming to, to attack their village and steal uh, items that they have. And many were afraid that this, these troops were going to come and they would steal or harm this giant golden Buddha. And so they came up with a clever idea. Welcome back to The Thermostat with Jason Barger. If you're currently on a commute, a walk, or just a micro break in your day, glad you're making time to step back, to think, and to reflect on the next steps on your journey. I've never been more convinced. The best leaders and team cultures in the world are the ones that make time to step back and calibrate their thermostat. I hope today's conversation leaves you feeling grounded and inspired. Now let's dive into today's topic to engage our minds and hearts in order to authentically lead and create compelling cultures wherever we are in the world. We as humans spend so much time putting on armor, covering ourselves up, or hiding our true selves that sometimes we forget about our own gold that is within. I'll explain. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jason. Welcome to season three of the podcast, episode eight. 2020 continues to be a strange, disorienting, uh, unsettling time uh, for all of us. So thank you for taking the time to step back, hopefully to listen, to learn, uh, to think, uh, to do some planning in your own head about the, navigating your way through what you're currently experiencing, but also what's ahead, and to just be here and to allow ourselves to uh, to grow in the midst of these challenges. These are certainly historical times, and uh, I'm excited about what season three has already been and what is yet to come uh, on the podcast. The messages hopefully have been uh, meeting you where you are, nudging you forward, causing you to think. And certainly the conversations, the voices that, that are joining me on this podcast have been fantastic. So I hope that you're getting those nuggets of thought-provoking stuff that hopefully continues to add value to the journey of your life and your career. As always, my hope with these podcasts is it gives you something to think about each week to engage that mind and heart to help you lead with intentional action and to just be thoughtful about where it is you're trying to go and how you're, you're trying to get there. So season three continues. Thanks for listening. As always, I hope you'll continue to listen. I hope you will share the podcast with anybody in your life or career that, that you think this will resonate with or that ought to be a part of this, these kind of messages. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who takes the time to rate the podcast uh, five stars, of course, to review uh, leave a, a nice review. All of those things help amplify. You know, it's the algorithms of all these different platforms the podcast show up on. All of that helps to just amplify these messages further in the world so that other people can find the podcast and hopefully that it adds value to people's lives. That's obviously the only reason why I'm doing this. So uh, thank you for everybody that takes the time to do that. So if you're looking for a fun or in and, and also an introspective documentary during these times of quarantine and isolation. And certainly as sports have been canceled, you know, I, uh, fortunately some are, are, are still playing and some are, are doing that. But, you know, many people are trying to find new hobbies or things that to, to engage their mind and heart. If you're looking for a good documentary, I want to make a, a recommendation to you. Uh, the documentary Finding Joe, Finding Joe, which is about the mythologist Joseph Campbell and his philosophies that were focused on the fact that all of us uh, being what he being on what he refers to as the hero's journey that every single person is on this kind of hero's journey to discover who they truly are and who they're trying to become and also this kind of search to follow our bliss to follow our bliss. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, anyway, it's, a, I think, a really interesting documentary that, that also highlights the thinking of a lot of successful people and in, across industries and disciplines and, and people that have been on the search in their own life and in their own career to kind of follow that bliss and find the hero within themselves during the journey that they're on. So it's, it's a powerful message, certainly at any time, but it's also a powerful message for today and certainly for 2020. And in the documentary, it tells a story and it recounts an old Buddhist parable 
which I'll, I'm going to share with you quickly, that many, many years ago in a village in Thailand, there stood what was referred to as the statue of the golden Buddha, the statue of a golden Buddha. And it was this big, bright, shiny gold statue of a Buddha. And day after day, people from the village would come out to the statue. They'd come to this bright, shiny, you know, golden Buddha, and they'd come out to the statue, and they would pray. They would sit at the feet of the statue, and they, they, would, they would meditate. They would give thanks. They would center their own lives. They would meditate. They'd pray. They'd get themselves, you know, focused on the life that they're trying to live and what they're trying to be a, bar, a part of in the world. And one day, you know, I, people would come and do this at the, the feet of the Golden Buddha every single day throughout this village. But one day, they, the village got word that a nearby village was going to attack them and that troops were coming. And so quickly, the village started to, to swing into action. They started to prepare themselves and they started to get scared because they, they got word that this other village was coming to, to attack their village and steal uh, items that they have. And many were afraid that this, these troops were going to come and they would steal or harm this giant golden Buddha. And so they came up with a clever idea. The villagers covered the statue in mud. Everybody started to grab mud and concrete. And, and quickly, as they knew that the troops were approaching, they covered the statue in mud and concrete so that the golden Buddha would just look like a normal statue and really hide the beauty and the value of the gold underneath the mud and the concrete. And in fact, the strategy worked brilliantly. When the soldiers attacked and these, the nearby soldiers and troops came into the village, they went right past the statue and they didn't even you know, stop to harm it because it didn't look like anything of value and it wasn't important to them. And so they looked elsewhere to go steal and to pillage. The fighting went on for years between these villages. And slowly over time, though, the people in the village and the new generations of people that were growing up over these years of this fighting, the villagers began to forget about the golden Buddha. They began to forget that the gold was actually underneath the mud and the concrete. So for years this went on, and new generations that had forgotten younger kids that were around and, and didn't quite even remember the Golden Buddha because the fighting had been going on for years, that then they started to forget. And all of a sudden, many, many years later, a monk, early one morning, while the fighting had ceased, was sitting out at the base of the statue to rest. And all of a sudden, as he was sitting there, he, he bumped it. He bumped the statue and a chunk of the concrete crumbled off of the statue and revealed a piece of the gold. And the monk looked at it and then jumped up and started to look and realize that there was gold underneath the concrete. And so he started to, to yell out and he started to run to get the other villagers. And people from the village came running out and they all chipped away at the concrete and at the mud to rediscover and remember the golden Buddha that was hidden underneath the mud and the concrete. This image, as we move through 2020 in this parable of the Golden Buddha, it makes me reflect on three things that I think we always need to remember. But certainly in 2020, and, and within our teams, within our organizations, within the, the people in our lives, we need to remind each other of and not forget the lessons of the parable of this golden Buddha. And so there are three lessons, at least, that, that come to my mind. One is we all have value and beauty within. Every single one of us, if you're listening to this, all of us, we all have beauty and value. And the people on your team and throughout your organizations, in the midst of all this chaos and this uncertainty and ambiguity and and, and all of the 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 challenges that have come with 2020 to step back and remember that sometimes we forget that we all have value and beauty within and that no matter what happens around us or all the things that are out of our control or, or how much we choose to hide, 
we can't forget or lose sight of the value and the beauty within. We can't lose sight of the value and the beauty within and the value and beauty that we we have to seek out and see in the people around us. We also need to remember to chip away at our armor. To chip away at our armor. All of us, every single human on the planet and certainly within our teams and organizations and, and, and during times of uncertainty, it's easy to put masks on. It's easy to put armor on. It's easy to, to try to protect ourselves or hide ourselves. But we all often hide or mask or cover ourselves up in order to protect ourselves. And then sometimes we get distracted or influenced by an outward look or protect ourselves. And we start to lose sight of that value or that beauty that actually is within. And so we need to be reminded to chip away that, at that armor. Chip away at the armor. Chip away at the things that we often use to protect ourselves or to cover up in order to not forget the value and the beauty within. And in the end, as Buddha reminded, and in the midst of this parable of the golden Buddha, the Buddha reminded that only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. Think about those words and think about in the end, in the midst of all that's been happening in 2020, all that's swirling around, or you look across and you think about the team members in, in, on your team or throughout your organization, you think about the world that we're all moving in and out of every single day. What if only three things really mattered in this moment? And how do we then live this and show this? That three things, how much you loved and certainly love, as, as you'll hear me talk about in, in po- other podcasts, too, of, of the concept of love in business isn't one that's often talked about. But the reality is some of the best leaders, teams, and organizations in the world, they figure out not romantic love, but how is it that we can truly love our people? And what does it mean to try to love them, even in the midst of people that, that uh, you know we may disagree with or, or we may have different views on things? But how much have you loved How gently have you lived and how gracefully we let go of the things that are not meant for us. I wonder what that would look like if we did that within ourselves and our own leadership journey, but also think about it from the perspective of how do we, how do we empower the people around us? How do we love? How do we let go of things that aren't for us and to stay focused on the things that will help us all travel gracefully along that mission that's ahead of us, to care for each other, to stimulate progress, to find solutions, and to create the culture that we want within our team and our organization. And so as always, I'm going to provide some questions for us to ponder, some questions for reflection. What is your, the beauty that is within you? What's, what is your beauty, the value within that sometimes you hide or you forget? What's the beauty within you or what's the beauty within the value within your team and organization that sometimes you all hide and sometimes you just forget? What is the armor that that we all put around ourselves? What's the armor that needs to be chipped away? How are we armoring, putting armor around ourselves individually and how are we putting armor around our team, our organization? And what is the armor that needs to be chipped away? And how do we celebrate others? celebrate our team, celebrate our family, our our organization, celebrate the beauty and the value, and let go of the things that are not meant for us. Remember, every single one of us has gold and value within, but we can't mask it. We can't be distracted and forget about it. We can't forget that we have value and we have something to share with the world and with each other, and we have to be that thermostat. Thank you for listening to today's podcast, and I hope the messages and questions stimulate positive change along your path. As always, if these messages resonate with you and add value to your life, I hope you'll help amplify them throughout the world. Please rate, 
comment, and share on whatever podcast or social media platform you're using. And share this podcast with the people in your life or work who should be part of these conversations. That way, this spirit does, in fact, spread. If these messages or developing leaders and culture would be helpful to your organization, or you have a question or comment about this podcast, please contact us at jasonvbarger.com. And remember, we all are ambassadors for the culture we want to create in our life and work. We have to own the vision we want to be a part of. The future of leadership is you, is me, is us. Be a thermostat.